Well, going to the Nationals, I was just happy to sail the boat with, I mean, the whole crew was with my family, so it was just really fun. And we had a great regatta. So then going into the blue chip, I was, I knew that I could sail the boat, like, well, I guess. And yeah, just everything worked out great. Crew was great. I mean, I don't think you could ask for <laughs> much of a Was your crew all right? <laughs> Are you guys coming back next year? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Who do you want to be? Everybody. Everybody. <laughs> if you had to pick one of all those kind of rock star guys that are kind of come back and there's a legend in your mind you want to compete against and maybe talk to you afterwards about it, who would that be? Well, uh, I don't really know. They're, they're all really Probably Brian great. Porter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Brian Porter. Billy Allen. Or Bill Allen. <laughs> a, lot, a lot of guys that are going to want to be both Billy and Brian. <laughs> right. yeah. 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 The first memory I have of the blue chip was Hans and I were crewing for Buddy. I don't know what year it was, but uh, Billy Allen was sailing with Judd Hirschberg and I think Charlie Herod. And Billy won every race in that regatta, but uh, you know there were a few times when we were around each other and we were screaming into a jive. I think that's when we were doing triangles. And yeah. We were screaming into a jive mark, and uh, I think we were leading the race. And Billy was calling for room, and Buddy wasn't giving him room. So they were screaming at each other for you know who knows how long coming into this jive mark. <laughs> and then after I think finally we let him in, and he was ahead of us. And they were yelling the whole next leg. And then you hired him. <laughs> <out> <laughs> the bottom mark. No, this was after he left Santa. <laughs> But that was classic. Uh, you want to talk a little bit about the plans for the blue chip? And this is a special anniversary year. Maybe get some perspective. Yeah, I mean, what's your favorite memory of the blue chip, buddy? And, you know, I mean, you know, we've been doing this for this is our 50th year. And you've been there a few times as skipper and crew. Well, uh, yeah, I, I can I can remember a couple of times. Uh, Andy Burdick uh, uh, and his wife, uh, Candace, were sailing with me. and. Uh, David Navin, I believe, and we jived and, and capsized when we were, had a beautiful lead and, and probably we got in our hip pocket at the time. So that was disappointing. But the fun part was, the, I remember sailing with Dennis Connor, his uh, forward crew, well, I was on the jib, and uh, then my daughter Laura was second person, and, and uh, Gloria Melgus was, was the, the third person and then Dennis and um, we had had pretty good luck uh, going in about the, the third race or so and it's honking and I remember right in front of the Perigo home uh, we uh, Dennis uh, uh, made a turn and slipped a little bit and uh, maybe the jib came in a little bit too quick and the first thing I know uh, we're in the in the piss and uh, with that, uh, Gloria got separated from the boat, and Dennis had a, a, a member of Admiral's Cup sweater on that after I got him in the boat, I, I think the sleeves were hanging down to his ankles, but uh, he got back in finally, and we got the boat, uh, after we got the boat upright, and Laura got on board, and we had to sail down and get Gloria, we picked her up. We still, you know, finished off about five or six boats behind us, which was, and one of which was Gordy Bowers, who had capsized as well. And, uh, but then the fun thing was, here's Mr. America's Cup on the port tack, coming into the finish line, right in front of Rocky Point with a wind. I looked over, and here comes this black one, and I know it's going to be a big lift. And, and Tommy Schweitzer was on starboard, and it's questionable. And I, I, I look back at Dennis, and you know, there was nervousness all over himself. And, uh, you know, I figured to myself, Jesus, here's this America's Cup guy. We're still three boat lengths away from having to do something. And I look over and I said, Dennis, you're okay. Just get ready. It's going to be a nice lift. Sure enough, boom, hit the lift. Tommy Schweitzer got the header. We crossed, won the blue chip. And uh, to me, <laughs> it was sort of so much fun because he put my two uh, best friends in the water, my wife and my daughter, 
uh, Harry wasn't aboard at the time. And, uh, but then to, to have him go on and, and at that time was Mr. America's Cup and then proceed and do all the great things he's done in, in, in the cup racing has, has been fun to talk about, at least in our backyard of, uh, during cocktails. We'll come back to you in a second. Age four, last year, uh, we kind of really wanted to encourage you guys to come to the blue chip, and you, you finally got, I think you had to ask your principal to get off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, tell us a little bit about the competition, the level of it, and also I know you, you guys had some good starts, and you also had some starts where you kind of sailed a little bit through the fleet to get, you know, you had to lead at the end. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about you know, your strategy and how it all worked on the boat and, you know, how you worked through some any problems if there were any. Well, uh, I mean, just trying to keep it consistent in a good way. Um, we all worked together, like, really well. It all came together great. So there wasn't much commotion at all, ever. We just always just kept doing our jobs and working everything out, it all turned out great. Awesome. Harry, you've been there a lot, and um, in various roles, either skipper or crew. Um, tell us your, some of your favorite memories of the Ebu chip. I mean, other than the one about uh, these guys, Buddy and Billy, screaming at one another. <laughs> I think my favorite blue chip was last year's blue chip. I mean, it's hard to top that. We kind of put the program together the week before, and. He talked me into doing it, and he had already a couple of his buddies lined up to sail, Finn Rowe and uh, Matt Piste, I guess. And mm -hmm. So it was kind of a last minute deal, but uh, you know, we had, had been sailing the boat a lot. He'd been sailing the boat all summer quite a bit and driving it, so loving it, having fun with it. And we kind of put it up there, had a great start the first race and led wire to wire. And, you know, that's just kind of how the whole thing started and just kept right on rolling that way. Even when we were behind, we were able to pass boats. And, you know, our crew work was great. I mean, Harry did an awesome job, job driving the boat. It was really hard conditions, really windy, puffy, shifty, shifty crazy stuff. And, uh, you know, he sailed the boat awesome. Angle of heel was perfect the entire regatta. And, you know, we never really got any close calls, although Lee Allness almost took us out on one run, <laughs> screaming down in a 25 knot puff and didn't see us coming up wind underneath. And it was a close call, but yeah, other than that, it was a really fun regatta and obviously one I won't soon forget.